Welcome to the video tutorials of the book Methods, Evaluation and Research in Education by Mohammad Akhtaruzzaman and today we are going to learn how to do chi-square test in SPSS. Chi-square with the symbol lambda square differs from other tests of significance in that it does not allow a comparison of actual scores. Instead, it allows a comparison of the frequency of responses in certain discrete categories. Basically, chi-square test compares the number of times an event or a response actually happens or occurs, which is observed frequency, with the number of time it is expected to happen, which is the expected frequency. The frequencies refer to the category-wise responses into which the data has been classified, for example, male or female, yes or no, pass or fail, five-point Likert scale, and others. Usually, the test is used with discrete categorical data. In case, when any continuous data is reduced to categories, then also we can apply the chi-square test. It does not require the assumption of a normal distribution like T or other parametric test. It is a completely distribution-free and non-parametric test. Remember, in case of 2 by 2 table with expected frequency less than 5, it needs the use of Yates correction. But in case of table more than 2 by 2, if the expected frequency is less than 5 in any cell of the table, chi-square test should not be used. Only way to solve this problem is to increase the sample size. Let's go through an example. A researcher has conducted a social survey on 980 people regarding their opinion about life. Is life exciting or dull? This is the research question. The data are summarized and kept in a file called chi-square. Considering the above scenario, now we are going to test the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is, life is exciting or dull at 0.01 level of significance. Let's see the data file, chi-square, in the SPSS data editor window at the screen. It is already in the data view. Now, see the variable view of the data. There are several variables, but we are considering only two, which are gender and life, which are of numeric type and the scales of measurement are nominal and ordinal respectively. In the values column, the gender is defined as 1 for male and 2 for female. And the variable life is defined as 1 for exciting, 2 for routine and 3 for dull. And the missing values are 0 for no answer please which is in short NAP, 8 for don't know which is in short DK and 9 for negative answer which is in short NA. See, both the variables are categorical which are nominal or ordinal but not scale. Go back to the data view of the SPSS data editor. You see the variables at the top of each column and also see the opinion about life of 1517 people which are both male and female. The pattern of data view is different from the usual one. You can change the data view pattern by clicking the value labels icon which is third from the right at the toolbar just below the menu bar. Now go to the analyze menu then descriptive statistics then cross tabs. Yeah, click it cross tabs. Take is life exciting or dull in the rows field and respondents gender in the columns field. Select display clustered bar charts at the bottom. Now click the statistics button to select chi-square. At the same time, click cells button and select observed and expected in the counts. Now click continue and press OK. See the output at the screen. The first table case processing summary is showing the number of respondents is 1517. Among them, 980 participants responded in the defined category exciting, routine or dull. The rest 537 are considered as missing values who responded as NAP, DK or NA. The missing values are taken into account otherwise it may affect the result seriously. The second table cross tabulation is showing the observed count and expected count in three defined categories which are 
exciting, routine, and dull. Let's check out the most important table, which is the chi-square test. There are three sig values available in this table, which you would like to choose. As the sample size is more than 50, the uncorrected Pearson chi-square is considered in this case. The sig value of Pearson chi-square is 0 0.002 and its value is 11.994 with degrees of freedom too. For testing the hypothesis, SPSS needs only the sig value to be compared with 0 0.05. In SPSS interpretation, sig value greater than 0 0.05 means acceptance of the null hypothesis. And on the other hand, sig value less than 0 0.05 means rejection of the null hypothesis. For the uncorrected Pearson chi-square, the sig value is 0 0.002, which is less than 0 0.05, which implies the null hypothesis is rejected. That means research hypothesis is accepted. So life is not really exciting or dull. It may be something else, moderate or simple. However, using the chi-square value, degrees of freedom and level of significance, you can do the same interpretation manually. The details of it are described in chapter 10 of the book. That's all for today. Thank you for staying with us. It's Yasdani saying you goodbye.